Hello guys, welcome to the very first part of our course. So uh, the way it is done in mobile app development, you have to first of all create uh, the front end of the application before you move into the back end and then from there you do debugging and testing. And so in this very first part, we're going to just be working on the front end development of the application and we're using Flutterflow, all right? So Flutterflow is a platform that we're using in building uh, this dating application, which is going to be similar to Tinder, right? So uh, Flutterflow allows you to build application faster than ever, all right? So if you don't have an account, you just have to come to flutterflow.io and then click start for free and then set up your account and you will have the same dashboard like me and then later on we'll create me. Okay, so uh, this is the application that we're building. It's a... Uh, it's a dating application. It has a couple of screens and it has some really interesting functionalities. We're going to add extra functionalities to these things. Uh, there's some really cool stuff that I have learned and I want to just like add it to this course, including QR code, uh, being able to share uh, the profile of a particular user uh, via the link uh, to someone else and um, you know, being able to uh, like share a QR code to someone else to just scan it and then see someone that you thought they will like, all right? So something cool like that. And then we'll implement this uh, chatting functionality as well. And uh, yeah, some beautiful things here that we're going to do. So, and then of course, uh, you're gonna have fun doing this. There are some things that we are going to like change because I want to make these as simple as possible uh and as uh, unique as possible as well so i will take up some things when we're developing uh all right so let's go straight to it the first thing we're going to do here is uh we're going to go back to uh, flutterflow i believe you've created an account already so you have to click on create new all right and then we will call these uh dating app all right what do we call it let's call it um yeah i just say date dating dating app dating apps yeah we can just call it dating apps okay so i'll click on create blank and then it's going to bring up all of this and what i need to do at this point is i just need to go ahead and say okay no i don't want to set up firebase now firebase is uh, a backend storage like a storage for your backend right so all the files that the user will be uploading all the text the chatting you know, every single thing will be stored in Firebase. So we will get into Firebase in detail much later. All right, so uh, the next thing we need to just do here is we'll go ahead and say start building. Now this is the interface for Flutterflow and uh, this is where we are going to be building our application. So uh, you're going to learn how to use most of the things that are here in Flutterflow by practice. So I'm not gonna go around and say, oh, this is this, this is that and all of that, right? Anyways, let me do it. So this is where we have the widget tree right so a particular page will have like uh, its structure here and with these being the scaffold right uh, then these other ones are like the components inside the scaffold or under the scaffold all right then we have the pages this is where you see all the pages that you create you click here to create your page and then uh, what do we have this is storyboard where you see all your screens and how they are connected this is firebase this is where you create uh, your firebase uh, collections after you've connected firebase to your project this is a data scheme. We won't talk much about this. Then this is app state. We'll talk a lot about this. And uh, this is API calls. I think uh, at some point we'll talk about this when we're integrating payment. All right. And then um, <coughs> this is the media assets. And uh, here is the custom codes. And this is cloud functions. This is a uh, automated test and, and your team settings and the settings itself. And on the settings, we can have collaboration, Firebase is where you connect your Firebase to your Flutterflow project and uh, lots of other things, languages, platforms, permissions, authentication, a lot of things are here, all right? And so uh, I'm just going to uh, continue from uh, the very first part. So here is the first part of our application. Yeah, so this is where we're supposed to start designing. Now, this is a basic simple screen. It has uh, some really nicer swiping functionality here. So just like I told you that there are some things that I will alter just for unique, uniqueness, uniqueness sake, right? So I will just alter it a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so this one has this rose, I don't want it. 
So we just take it off. Yeah, so we can have ass like this. Okay, so I take this off and I take this off as well. Okay, so uh, well, it shows here that this had three screens, but in essence, this is gonna just be one screen. So let's go ahead and just uh, get this one done. And then from there, we can go ahead and then move over to the part two of our tutorial. So let's do it. Now, uh, this is your, uh, this is how your regular screen looks like. And so this is called onboarding one, well, two and three. We're just gonna have only one screen and it's gonna be called onboarding. So you click on the scaffold here and you click here to change the name. So we can just call the name onboarding. All right, so onboarding. Okay, now it doesn't have an app bar, right? So this is the app bar here, where else one part of it will be using the kid network, battery power, and all of that stuff in your phone, like what comes with your phone. So we won't use it in that page because it doesn't have it here as well. Well, it has this thing here, but just don't worry about that. So we'll just click here and then we'll delete it. All right, so app bar is gone. The next thing we just need to do is create the, f the features that we see here in the design. All right, so this is uh, the picture, like a, a picture here. What we're gonna do is look at the size of the picture. The, it says here 235 by 360. So what we're gonna do is we'll turn on the developer mode. Yeah, so this is 235 by 360. So we'll come back here. And there's a particular uh, widget, right? So a widget is more like a component you use inside Flutterflow, right? So um, there's a widget called, uh, let me see, did it slip my memory? Uh, it's called page view, right? So this is the widget we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna click on it. Did you see how that was done? I did this. So now the column is what comes uh, by default with every single page that you create. You know, the app bar came with it. Then there's this column also under the scaffold. All right, so uh, the column is something you can delete, but the scaffold you cannot. All right, so now in this column now, we can put something inside it, all right? So I will just go ahead and click on this to put that page view inside it because uh, with the page view, we can just customize it a bit to look like what we want. Okay, so this is the page view, and then the property of the page views are here. We will try to manipulate this a bit. Okay, just follow me. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do is go to the page view uh, page. So we have one here, two here, and three here, all right? So uh, let's just go ahead and just uh, go to the page one, which is the page view page, this first one. And then it has one picture here. So we're just going to, uh, we can start from scratch. Let's just delete this picture. So I delete it, just delete on your keyboard. And now I'm gonna add a column inside this page view, page view one, that's the first one here. So I'll add a column. The reason I'm adding a column is because every single thing here, apart from the bottom, all right, is going to be inside, uh, every single thing here, like from here to this point is in the column, right? And we also have a general column where everything else is also inside, so no problem. So we will just go ahead and add um, a column, we've done that. Now we're gonna add an image. So this is the image we're adding. Let's look at the dimension. It says 235 by 360. Uh, the thing is, I wouldn't be worrying myself about the, the the width of the picture. I would just go ahead and check the paddings on the left and the right, and I had to click on option on my key. I'm using a Mac uh, keyboard, so it shows here 70. But I think if you click on Alt on your Windows, you should still see the same thing. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do quickly is, uh, I see here it's 70. Uh, padding on the left and right, then the picture's height is 360. That's what I really want to pay attention to. So I'll come here and then I'll just say, I want my width to be infinite and I want the padding on the left here to be 70. Uh, okay, all right, so I think I have some malfunction here somehow, right? So I'm, I'm not able to type seven uh, on my keyboard for some reason I do not know. So uh, let's say seven. <laughs> All right, so I will just, uh, whoa, seven, okay. So I'm just gonna copy it. I think after these, I'm gonna just restart my system. Yeah, so, but I wouldn't like to you know, delay myself. So I would just like paste it here. Okay, so I hope I don't really have a lot of things that it's not gonna work quickly. I'll just have to restart my system after now, it's okay. So uh, what we have here is the height is 360. So we come over here to the, the height. It says here 360, so we push it out like that. It has a border radius of 15, right? So you see it here, 15. And then we come here and then we, we, uh, uh, we look for the border radius. So this is it, we say 15. So it just somehow, okay. Now, okay, I thought one is not working as well. 
Okay, so we have 15, and um, the next thing we just need to quickly do is put this uh, text, uh, right? So it's not available. Mm. Oh, they're saying I can't, I can't highlight the text. Okay, that's not really good. So I'll just come over here and just click on copy, all right? And uh, the property is 700 by 24. So I will just come over here, click on the column. I will click to add a row. Inside the row, I'm gonna add a text, all right? And then I'm pasting what I had copied. Then I'll click on the row and I will center align it. Beautiful. Now, and I think it was 700 by 24. Did I get it right? So I think 24, something like this. So let's see, uh, 700 by 24, perfect. Now it has a color and uh, I think this is a color code. So I'll just copy this, okay? And um, I'll come back here and I will paste it here in the text color, beautiful. I'll click on the row that contains the text and here I'm seeing that the padding from this image to that text is like 44 pixel. And so I will give it the row a 44 pixel padding. All right, now I have this. The next thing I just need to quickly do is I will go ahead and uh, this is gonna be what? This is 400 by 14. Let's add another row, okay? So I'll just click on the column, add another row, click to add a text inside that. And then I will go ahead and copy all of this. It doesn't still allow me to copy it. Okay, so I will just click here to copy. It says here 400 by 14. It has a padding of 40, 40 on each side. So uh, let's just come over here and say 40. All right, I'm giving that padding to the text 40, and then I want it to be expanded like this. So I have to click on this so that the text can flow down uh, when they are too much. So I can now go ahead and paste this here, you see? Now, if at all I had it like this, that's how it would have gone, you understand? So I click on here to make expanded, and I think it's center aligned. So I'll click it like that to make it center aligned. And um, the spacing between the text and the algorithm is 10. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So uh, there, is a, there is a color for this text. I think this is a color for this text. So I'll just copy it. Uh, then I'll come over here, click on the text, go to the color sec section, then paste it. So something like that. Then I'll click on the row itself, give it a padding of 10, all right, from the top. And uh, one more thing. So we have these dots, we will handle that now. So how do we handle that dot? So that's the dot here, this is it. So we will just go ahead and you know, uh, click this and I will copy the color, right? So it says here, oh, I don't know why it's not showing me the colors directly. This is not how it's supposed to be showing us. Can I just turn off the dev mode? Okay, so now it's showing me like this. So I can like, I don't know, can it, can it allow me to copy? It's not allowing me to copy this thing the way I want it. So let's just go back to dev mode. I think it's been altered somehow. Okay, so I think I can just click here to copy, yeah. So, um, I'll click on the main page view, all right? So this is a main page view. If you scroll down, you see that it has the inactive color, so I'll paste it. Then let's see the inactive color. Inactive color is this one, all right? So uh, it says here zero, zero, zero. It doesn't look like the color for real. This is, um, hmm. It doesn't look like it. So I will use another color here by choice. So I'll click here and use a alternate. Yeah, so this is the one I'm using. Okay, so the next thing I need to do quickly here is um, reposition this a bit. So uh, here, the, uh, the indicator has different alignments. So this is, the reason why it's here is because it says stay here. So I will say, okay, here, stay here. The next thing I'm saying, stay here. Okay, so now it's stay here but I want it to be under this text. So I can just like, uh, I think, do some things to it. So I'm giving a padding from the top, 150, uh, 250, and something like this. Let me see, uh, I think it should be longer than that. So let's just make it a, should we say 300? Oh yeah, something like this. So like this is good. And uh, I didn't mention we have to download this picture. So let's go ahead and just uh, click on these to export this picture out of here. So I'm changing it to two, preview to be sure that it's a picture, click to export, gale to the PNG, beautiful. So uh, I will come over here, click on the image, come here to image type, change it to asset, and click here. Uh, it brings me into this, I can just go ahead and, and search for girl, uh, girl. Okay, so this is it, so I'm just gonna upload it into my application. Wait for a couple of seconds and then it will be a go. 
So let's come over here and then this is a button. The button is, this is the color of the button. The height is uh, 56. The padding on the left and right is 40. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So this picture is here. Um, this is our main column, right? And so if we add something, I think what we could do is um, we could put everything inside this column just for to make it easy, right? So I'll put everything inside here. So I'll put a button here. Okay, yes. I'll put a button here. I'll go ahead and give the button a color. This is the color of the button. I think it said 56, right? So uh, 56, yeah. So let's just copy this one now. It's not aligned, let's copy that. It's 700 by 16, okay. So uh, let's say the height is 56 and the width is infinite but it has a padding of uh 40 and then there's 40 here as well and then it has a text uh, that says this okay and uh it also has um, a space of maybe 42 from here so then it has 15 uh 15 pixel as border radius okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and say uh let's see what to do here what did it say it said um 42 let's try 42 uh here as the top pattern 42 not still perfect i would prefer to use something like 80. uh okay this didn't work out 90 60. Uh, okay so i i don't get i don't really get what i want so i'm gonna use something like 100. okay yeah 100 works and then my border radius is going to be 15. okay and then uh, what else do I need to do here? I think that's about it. I would just click on the column again and add a row. In the row, I'm gonna add a text. What am I trying to do this time? I'm trying to create this particular part of our application. So um, I want to copy the text. Yeah, this is it. It has a padding of 20 on the top. So I'll click here and give it that padding first, 20. And then this is the text. I would just go ahead and paste it. Then I will duplicate it, Control D. The reason I'm doing that is what you'll see soon. Now I'm gonna take off this because it has different colors. So I'm gonna also come over here and remove this other one, okay? That way I can give them different colors. I, I will go ahead and click on this, then look for the alignment and say center align. And then I will give this some padding. Uh, I will say six. And then I will come over here and look for the color so i'll just co copy the color here it says 700 by i think uh, this one is 400 by 14 700 by 14 so let's come here this is 400 by 14 perfect and then this is 700 by 14 it's a bit bold bolder so i'll just paste the color here and there you go so now we have our first design uh so what i'll just do here is i'll just copy this column Control c select the column copy it close this page view all right by tapping and then here, this is for the second part, it's empty. I'll just delete the image, uh, then I'll paste this, all right? And then I will go ahead and click on this one, the last one, delete the image and paste this. Then we can uh, later on like change the picture. So, but let me just show you what we have successfully done. Now, what we have done is like magic, right? So we've been able to do this like in a very short time. So this is it. And the user can just swipe like this, right? So we just have this beautiful uh, carousel kind of thing okay so uh, yeah I hope you've learned something really amazing we will continue from here in the second part see you soon